Hello everybody. Um, not used to this. I'm not a movie star, sadly. So uh, yeah, see how it goes. Um, I'm going to take you all back to uh, a small town in Ayrshire where I where I grew up in the uh, the the sixties and seventies, and um, maybe like like some of you, uh, I uh, I grew up. Uh, everybody went to. Uh, Sunday school from when they were wee and, and many people got a uh, baptized in church like I did. Yeah um, My mum was a church goer and uh, My brothers and sisters also were brought up in the church um, my dad was a uh, supportive from a distance, but he worked every Sunday. So uh, Yeah, um He never really got to church um, so um I I knew all the Bible stories and uh, I grew up in church and and I knew knew my Bible but um, I knew there was something missing and uh, that became very clear when uh, we had a new minister arrived and he was I suppose what we call very evangelical nowadays he uh, he was very interested in, in preaching the good news and um, yeah I I I uh, I was interested in that too. Um, he, uh, yeah, there was a bit of a revival in the town, and he, even at that stage, I could see there was a kind of uh, some sort of battle going on. Um, you know, literally a lot of opposition to what he was doing, but I could see there was loads for the young people, and uh, lots of lots of young people were coming to know to know God and um, become Christians, and I could see that, and I, and I wanted that. Um, yeah, I began to uh, be realizing of. Uh, my separation from God because of sin and not not because I was a particularly bad person but I was guilty or I, I feeling guilty even at that stage and I was aware of my sin God was I suppose we'd call it convicting me of my sin so I was aware of it and I needed I needed to uh, get that dealt with I wasn't happy but equally I was also unhappy because um I, I struggled uh I was very worried about death at that that young age and I knew nobody uh, Nobody in my family, my mother or, or others could uh, kind of convince me that I would be all right because I, I somehow knew I, there was something missing um, and I needed to get right with God. And um, the uh, the preaching of uh, John 3.16, you must be born again. I knew I had to be born again. Um, what happened was at age uh, about, uh, about 11, yeah, there was a a group of students came to an October holidays, came to our church and preached the good news. I, I'm sure it was uh, Luke's gospel and or Mark's gospel. I can't quite remember. I should should know at this point. Um, but um, yeah, probably Mark's. And um, anyway, we went over that, and yeah, it really all made sense to me that the the healings and, and what God was doing, and I, I, uh, I wanted it. I remember I wanted it so bad they let, when somebody was kicking my chair in the uh, the little uh, hall while it was I was listening so carefully that person annoyed me on the way home and I I really set about them you know because it was too important so um, yes I uh, I asked Jesus into my life I asked forgiveness for my sin and asked that that Jesus come into my life. Um, I, I, did I mention that I had bad dreams every night? I was very difficult to sleep and I was very kind of anxious about sleeping and and worried because of the fear of death um, and in the 46 odd years since I've never never had a, a bad dream since um, I, 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 yeah it, it literally made a difference overnight and uh, I had a peace and security and happiness um, I knew I was forgiven and I knew if I died then that I would go to be with Jesus and that made a huge difference um, so for me, I suppose uh, one of the things moving on, um, which I know I, I've been aware a lot of Christians struggle with still, is that uh, I, I like uh, Romans eight verse one, there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ, and and that was real for me. I, I knew I could mess things up, make mistakes still, but um, I knew that God was in my life, and and he, my future was secure with Him, and um, I, I didn't need to worry. I could be forgiven through what Jesus did for me. Um, so yes, um, God's been with me ever since. He's provided me with uh, peace, happiness, 
provision um, and Christian friends. I had Christian young friends at that time. It, it wasn't always easy. The minister tried in tragic circumstances after, and I think that highlighted for me the spiritual battle that is the Christian life. But um, God provides uh, th- what you need to to survive and to to come through and uh, to tell others about it. And I've known God's love, protection, healing, guidance, teaching speaking to me and uh, learning the importance of the Holy Spirit since and uh, still learning along the way. But yeah, I'm not sure I'd still be here now, 46 years later, if it wasn't for God. So thank you for this chance.